All right. Thank you very much for keeping it to Y254. Let's get this discussion going. Gentlemen, Karibundi Sana. Thank you so much. Thank you. It has been a long time <laughs> since we met again. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah? It's nice to meet again. How have you been? Oh, wonderful. Uh, uh, myself, um, um, I can say I'm proud. <laughs> I'm still alive. You're proud to be Kenyan also. I'm proud to be a Kenyan, of course, yes. <laughs> because, because, how have you been? I've been good. I've been good. Yeah. Um, let's talk about BBI and uh, you know, leadership and integrity. But before we, we get into the nitty gritties, I would like to start from the church perspective. When it comes to uh, leadership in the church, um, Dr. Sora, I'm aware that you are the president of uh, Destiny Restoration, Restoration Center. Sure. Yeah? That, I, I believe it's in Utawala. In Utawala. In Utawala. It's a yes. church, yeah? Yeah, it's a church. Now, as a church, I'm aware that you are also a reverend and a theologist. As lecturer. a church leader, um, do you believe that the church was involved in uh, these deliberations of the BBI? I would like to quote the, uh, um, your fellow leaders, sure. the evangelical churches in a statement read by the redeemed gospel church presiding bishop, that is Kefa Omai. Omai. This is what he said. And I quote, we are of the view that the task force deliberately took the church for granted. But let it be made clear that as per the last census, we have a representation of 82% and we have the ability and capacity to rally ourselves, to mobilize and have candidates who will carry the interests of the church in every constituency. Was the church involved and do you agree with this statement? Correct. Now, uh, at first I could like also to take this opportunity mm -hmm. as I give my input to the statement that to which uh, the read of uh, evangelical gave of mine that which gave that was very true because as a church we have not been involved fully as uh, my colleague was saying here that uh, this is one of the best documents that we have ever had before uh, after the 2010 constitution mm -hmm. because there's a number of things that which were there to be amended and uh, either to be removed or to be added in the document however a number of things that have been happening in the nation of Kenya without involving the church. And that tells us that even this time round, there's a number of things that the church was supposed to be involved. Now, maybe, allow me to say this, we have few readers of the church, we have few bishops, pastors, reverends that were used by the government by maybe enriching themselves by given maybe whatever they are given church leaders the, the church leaders and they are just uh, shouting about uh, supporting the BPI. both of us everyone is we are supporting the ppi mm. but what we need from the ppi is the number of things that which we are not agreeing with the document to be added there and if they are able to be added there then as a church we will be happy for instance one seed we not uh, spoil all the seats. For example, there's a number of things in the church that which are not working. Mm. If you look at the bishops, we, we, we thank God and for their for their leadership that they have been there. They are our fa forefathers yeah, there before. Like now, the churches are not registered anymore. That one does not mean that when the church is not registered, that the church will not continue, and does not mean that when something happened on 2013, 2014, from 310, mm. that that will make other pastors to suffer that will not be registered. And also, if all churches will have one voice, we will be able to be consulted. That's why we needed the church to be involved and to be consulted in this document, so, so that we can give our views. The, the reason why the church was, in, in your view, you believe it was not involved, and the reason why it wasn't involved, well, one of the reasons is because the church in itself is not united in terms of its own leadership. Correct. So they lack the local standard to be able to... To stand for the church even be, and be, to give the views of the church and to be consulted. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Teach. I think my take is about... Uh, uh, initially, Ram, when the process of collecting the deliberations from the citizens of this country, mm -hmm. when the, the, the committee was actually spearheading the program, were moving from one place to another place in this country, uh, they managed to collect several views. But what they managed to capture, because I overheard some of the judge members say that this is not what we gave. And even the governors themselves, they are saying this is not what we gave. What we gave is this. It never came out as we gave. Mm. And the pastor is also have the same. So the issue is, much of what was given to the PPI team, to, the, I mean, to, 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 to write, on, uh, I mean, to put into the, the, the process or the document was not captured well. And some were not captured alone, leave alone captured well, but some were not captured at all. 
So when the document uh, came up uh, into the public domain, they realized that what was proposed are not captured in, this, um, in the same people. And that is why they were saying, we need more time mm. to have more input, to build on what we had actually have amendments. Given. Yes. It is not actually about the amendment, because uh, mm. if I, I, I overheard well from the right honorable rail about what they, what they were ready to accept, mm. are those ones which were not captured well in their writings. Not necessarily that they were to make any improvement of what they did. But uh, to my understanding about the, 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 the allocations that have been given by those people who are saying they were not given time, or they never had a, 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 a number of time to give what they had, mm. or they, they gave but they were not captured, Mm. Well, by the people, the, those the proponents. I mean, the, those who are the, the committee that uh, drafted the, the 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 document. But in in a nutshell, uh, Mr. Ram, the way I look at it, it should not be. It should not have been the document that w w was going to be out to be contested. It should have been a document that was we were going to agree and say yes, this is what we what we, what we can capture. This is what we can remove. But because of the political intrigues that has entered into the process that has actually uh, submerged the mm. process of the constitutional amendment process. Uh, it is, th that is why we are entering into a, a quagmire, a, a highly contested uh, kind of uh, referendum that we are going to have, which should not have been necessary in the first place. And, and members of the church believe at the end of the day that they are amongst people who are not consulted. Um, do you believe that at the end of the day, I, I, it is... Ram, I, I think, uh, I don't want to buy the idea that they were not involved. The, okay. Because the whole process was open. <laughs> the BPI, uh, uh, the, the, the committee who were deliberating on it, they went from one place to another place. Mm. The only thing if I were heard from Gimunya in one of the radio stations, I mean, uh, TV stations, says that uh, mm. much of what Kenyans gave what was mainly captured is that which was given by the majority of Kenyans. So where a lot of weight was put on those areas or items where the majority of Kenyans actually deliberated on, mm. and much of the, 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 those ones which were not deliberated on actually in a massive way, they were left out. That, that, that is how I actually, that, that, that's how I concluded. But okay. the issue is, even if you have, if you have heard what the, the, the deputy president was actually arguing of mm. about uh, that, if we have a lot of have-nots by the deliber deliberations that were given by the county governments, by the deliberations which were given by the church, by the deliberations which were given by persons with disability, by the deliberations which were given by women, all these deliberations, if we have cups in these areas, that means we must address the issues and they are all pertinent in mm. our constitution now okay. now um as a leader um i would i would, I would like us to touch on a, f a, f a few issues well we may not touch on everything because when we talk about leadership and integrity it's quite deep uh in regards to this sector the religious sector what are the religious leaders um, because yes at some point the religious leaders are divided some support, some don't support. Now, how should the, 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 the church and uh, the religious leaders, the mosque, each and every religion involved in the country, how can they also be part of this leading Kenyans towards the right direction in a way that does not bring divisive politics? Dr. Soro. I think uh, what I would like to say about that is that, you know, in readers, we have different people that we believe on. For instance, as I said earlier, that this document is one of the best document. It's only that it has lacked time and it has lacked involvement. And also, the, when we talk about involvement, as my colleague was saying, that the church, he doesn't believe that the church was involved. Yes, we agree that the church was involved, but the way it was involved, it was partially. You see, our oh, few. Are, are you saying it was involved or not involved? What I'm trying to say, the church was involved because. The people who were involved, there were few people who were greed of the money. Oh. So now, because they were seen as the readers of the, 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 the churches, mm. now the church is all in crew that it, that it was involved. Because if you ask me, could, have you ever been asked by any reader on, 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 on that document to give your views? No, nobody has ever come. Religious leaders I in this... The problem, uh, Ram, mm. uh, the way I look at it... Mm. What the churches gave was a comprehensive uh, suggestions or deliberations 
they, it was actually comprehensive. But what was captured finally by the PPI team is so dismal. And that is why they are saying, and so many other quarters, they are saying, they are not saying that we, they were not given time. They had the whole two years to deliberate on that. Mm -hmm. And they, they had all the time. But until the document came out is when they realized that what was captured is not actually what they, deli what they, what they deliberated on. And that is the point of contention. That's why they are saying okay. we need to, give, to be given time to put more effort, I mean, to put more, I mean, uh, more, more, more meat in this skeleton so mm -hmm. that it can reflect the desire of the church. So here we talk about representation. You know, you know again, when we talk about more time, eh? mm. you know, uh, we have to look at uh, this thing uh, in, a, in a way because the church, the fuse that the church gave, the readers, it seems that they never represented them. They went and represented different fuse which they thought that would favor them. And he's talking about more time. If the document was given, uh, the time was given of two years, that the people will discuss the churches, the community, everywhere, and they see that time is needed. I think what we needed is a time we are talking here, not a period of time, maybe one year, two years, but we need a quality time. And when we talk about a quality time, you see like right now, uh, the deputy pre president of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto, is talking about these things need time and all. Mm. At the same time, they are talking about this PPI needs to be sorted out so that we can move forward. At the same time, we have the COVID-19. You see, we, they are trying to kill one part, uh, uh, to kill more parts with one, uh, with one stone at the same time. Because at the moment, the nation is not actually in, in, in the position of dealing with the PPI or looking for more time. We need to look at the COVID-19 first and to see how we can... Uh, bring the situation down then so if, that you can if, have enough time for this document. If you say that a leader can be able to discuss with the followers about an issue, but when it comes to presenting those issues, the leader presents a different thing in your view, yeah. then that one does not portray leadership in, in itself. Well, well now, that is why I'm coming up with that. The readership we have is poor. Greed. We, because readers should present what they exactly were given for all right, all right. All right. Uh, i think Rama, if, if um if i can remember well during the management i mean the starting up of the collection of the fuse mm. many people were involved church leaders included the churches were included you talk about the the governors were included they gave their, their own deliberations you talk about the women's they gave their own deliberations you talk about all these groups mm. and uh, what i'm uh, what i'm addressing is yes they gave their fuse but when they when the, the PPI came into the public domain, whatever they gave is not what gave, was reflected. They gave was not captured, and that is why we don't need a lot of time, Ram, to build up. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the consensus out of what we have already. <laughs> because, All right. Uh, Let's, I, I, I want us to talk about one um, <laughs> one thing. Huh? Yeah. Moving on from because we're talking about representation. Mm. Um, let's talk about representation now from the high office of the land mm -hmm. um the bbi has proposed the amendment of article 97 that one mm -hmm. to change the composition of the national assembly from 290 elected members to 360. Mm -hmm. now um in your view does this bring over representation within government or is this the solution that kenya needs changing from 290 to 360. Dr. I think this, uh, the, 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 the addition of the constituencies and maybe even words, mm. uh, to me it is not viable. Viable in the sense that as we are talking Ram, we are talking to a, of a country that is having a debt of over 7 trillion, as we are talking now. Mm -hmm. We are talking of a country which is already burdened by unemployment. We are talking of a country that is already at its knees because of the COVID-19. Now, even the additional 35% of the, of the default funds to the county governments, its viability is still in question. Last, last time, uh, Ram, if, if you can remember uh, very well, mm. we had only that much that the country was able to give. But they were, the government was crying that they cannot give. If you can remember, the East Excellence, the president said, he cannot give what he doesn't have. Now, in this case, uh, with the addition of 35%, my friend. Sustaining it will be a problem. It is a problem. And talking about additional manpower. 
and, 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 and 290 consistency uh, what, what, that, that might that we have uh, it is already in fact, in fact the, 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 the idea was uh, Ram hmm. that the constituencies the, not the non viable constituencies were going to be slashed but you see, the, the, the proponents of the same has done the opposite by saying we shall add even more. Adding more without really considering the viability. Let me tell you, Ram, this country, the taxable capacity has been taxed to the last. And this is the question that I want to pose to everyone who is watching from home. In terms of leadership, do we need more leaders? Do we need more representation? Do we need less leaders and less representation? Leadership and integrity of the nation. The hashtag is there, stand K E at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel on Twitter. Remember to give us your take in regards to this. Do we need more representation or is the number enough? And can the country sustain it? You are an economist. It is not sustainable, my friend. It is not sustainable. Because look at it, my friend. As we stand today, this country is living on debts. We have debts that we have to pay that we are no longer able to. To pay, and now we are talking about overrepresentations. Now, Doctor D D Doctor Rich, there is one one issue that uh, you've addressed. You've talked about the the, the money issue. Uh, we have money trickling down to the constituencies. The percentage has increased. Will that also be a boost to the economy? Uh, to me, uh, what I can say about the devolved funds, the additional funds that has been put into the county governments. It is a plus to me. It is very encouraging. So, but, but you meaning see, it will reflect. Creating, it reflect. Create, creating more, more stomachs to feed does not occur well in the kind of economy that we have. Why am I saying the offices that are created will require money? Any office that you create, even the, the office of the prime minister, the deputy, the two deputies, that one will incur a lot of resources. Which, of course, like uh, the president actually expressed, that we want to solve the perennial problem. After every election we use, we normally have uh, chaos. And if the creation of the two positions, of the, the, the position of the prime minister will solve the problem, that is what I am supporting 100%. But any additional uh, positions, like the one of members, I mean the, I mean the, 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 the National Assembly, uh, to me, I am not seeing its viability. Uh -huh. Dr. Soro, yes. representation. Um, let me quote Honorable Dr. Um, Ru Samoy Ruto, William Ruto said this. Uh, there is no reason why we should have a large number of legislators. We do not want more government, but a better government. No, th this is not Dr. William, William Ruto. This is Honorable uh, Kusitani. That's what he said. So we, between these two, which one do we need? Do we need more government but, or a better government? Those are the words of Moshe I think uh, what we need, we need a better governance. We don't need more positions. Not more representation. Not more representative. Because as my colleague was talking about, uh, the more offices created, the more finance that they may need. So what we are looking here is the better and the good readers that mm -hmm. you can read. It's not about the multitude. It's not about the more numbers of the readers. But it's about the better management. Now when it comes to... Okay, you've, you've talked about uh, we need a better management of resources. But representation has been an issue in the nation. The two-thirds gender rule. The BBI addresses this. It is very true that the BBI addresses the two... The, the, the gender... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you look at them, you know, when we talked about uh, uh, women in leadership and we created the position of a uh, women rep, mm -hmm. have they given the office? If we start from there, have they given the office and they were represented? Because I've had many women rep saying that we have not been given finances to, to enable us to, 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 to move forward the project that which we are supposed to do. And many people are complaining that what is the position of the, the, the women rep? Now, then the women rep, they should be given finances, that means the resources, mm -hmm. the office, mm -hmm. and everything, so that they will be in a position to, to their office to, to be operating. And they need these positions. And right. they need the positions. Women need to be in leadership. And that is why we have an increase of these constituencies, because that is also a factor. Now, when, so we, when you say that, yes, women need to be in leadership, Yet it is these uh, numbers that are reflected in the 360. 
No. How then do you say that we don't need the same same numbers? When we look at the previous, uh, the previous uh, constitution, that is the uh, 2010, eh? mm. when they were talking about women in leadership, yes, we created the 47 positions of the women from every county to have a women representative. Now, when we got the women representatives, does we have resources that enabling them to do what is necessary? Because it is one thing to have women in the leadership, and it's another thing to have women with resources that they will use to empower the, 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 the county they are representing. Mm -hmm. having, a, having women in the leadership without resources is like not having them, just, just having them to receive salary, to show in the document and to show the nation that we have women in leadership. What we need is the resources that will empower them so that they will be able to do what necessary for the county in the position of women. Dr. Rutich, you, you, you addressed that women in leadership, it is a factor that is adding up to these numbers. And many Kenyans I, I, I are complaining problem, about this. As, uh, let me answer you uh, the, the issue of uh, maybe the proposal by Kositan that there is no need. But what we need uh, in leadership is mm. not actually the numbers. Mm. What we need is the quality of leadership. Of, of, yes. And then again, the formula to be used to identify the position of women in this leadership has been an issue. Mm. But we can still solve the problem with the same number that we had. But has the, the BBA it has brought a very easy solution? No, it is not about the easy solution. Why? Why? You, my brother has actually said eh? the issue of numbers does not count when mm. it comes to real development. What is actually? Are we trying to fulfill the two third gender majority? I mean, the 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 the, 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 the one third gender without really addressing their needs, uh, their own home ground. So what we need, even when, when the women, I mean the, the, the so-called um, the women representatives mm. from our different uh, county governments, eh? even them, they have not been financed to the level that they can really be true representatives of their own people. So what we, what we were supposed, to be, what we were supposed to, be, to have been addressing is to make additional funding to the same number of women representatives in their respective counties to be able to deliver into the, to their own people. And then number two, Mm. The formula that has divided our national assembly that they have hungered for almost 10 years without really coming up with the two-third gender, I think it is something that they should come up within the bracket of the women that we have in, this, in, the, in, the, in the current respective, respective position. All right. Um, as we talk about representation, let me quote Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga. He said this, that, and I quote, I have been very much part of the struggle for reforms and change and will never be a part of any amendment that will recreate an imperial presidency. What's your stand about the proposed executive structure in the BBI and will it create an imperial presidency? I think when we look at the powers as given by the current uh, proposed, I mean the BBI, mm -hmm. uh, it is like uh, it is, it, the, 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 the winner take it all issue was not actually solved but they give more powers to the president who can fire or hire the kind of prime uh, minister uh, 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 I mean, that, 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 I'm, uh, look at it look at it this way because when you say the president shall appoint or rather nominate uh, the, in, the, 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 the to be prime minister from the same winning party in this case he has he has got the powers to fire or hire what does that reflect in your mind? It means he's a very powerful person. And then again, they are talking about the judiciary, whereby also they have to be to, 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 to appoint or rather be allowed to have a hand in the appointment of the ombudsman. Who will luckily check the, the, the judiciary in its, uh, in its uh, operations? And then again, you talk about the, the IEPC, whose who's, 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 who's membership will be decided by the respective parties. Now, looking at all this, uh, it, it, to me, it is dismembering the independence of the IEPC in the other place, and then also having a hand of the, the chief executive of the highest, the highest chief executive of the land, influencing all these, all these changes. 
-hmm. We luckily mean that he has I mean, immense powers Dr. in Zorro. the management Do of the other respective arms of the government. Dr. Zoro, yes. uh, leadership in the, the executive leadership, do you, do you agree with, with what he's saying? No, actually, what uh, Dr. Rotich is talking about, I do not agree. And, and one thing that is, is interesting as you, as you address that, <laughs> at the, at the, it has not addressed the winner takes it all. <laughs> It has uh, not. What, <laughs> what I'm looking here at is that uh, you see, we don't have a imperial president uh. when we look at this constitution to be true to ourselves, because uh, at the moment the president has power to fire the CS, even to fire the because like now Matiangi is like the prime minister. It's mm. only that the position has not been uh, introduced officially that is the prime minister. No, oh, no. And, you see, you see, when, when he's talking uh, that, oh, oh, th there is no, there is nothing, there is no jurisdiction that says that he is, or no, that he, he is acting. We, we, are, we are just saying that he's acting on the capacity of the prime minister, because in the document, if you look at it, what it says is about that the prime minister. What is the work of the prime minister? He will be the house business in charge, just like uh, the the, the uh, Kimunya right now. Is it Kimunya the, the position of? Uh, we will in the parliament the majority leader. the majority leader yeah. you know you see in the document the prime minister yeah. is like the majority leader in the parliament and you're saying that matiangi is the is, is acting in the position what they have done the majority an leader it's an assumption because they are brought from the, the the ministry and the parliament at the position that which is created right now of the prime minister it is actually overseeing that assumption is misleading uh -huh. why the reason why i'm saying this eh? If the Prime Minister, the President can fire the Prime Minister and they can select. And at the moment, you see, it's the President that will uh, actually give their position to the Matiang. What does that mean? Still, the President has the power even right now. <laughs> either to fire or to recruit. Or the same case applies to the document. Because it's the President who is going to recruit the Prime Minister or to fire. The uh, Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops said this, and I quote, to give the president the power to appoint a prime minister and two deputies risks consolidating more power around the president, thereby creating an imperial presidency. That is that, the and, and that's what you're saying. That is what I'm saying. And maybe if I may uh, chip in on that, eh? you see, at the moment, uh, we actually, the, the politicians, or let me say, as politicians, we're fighting on the position. We don't know who is going to be president. Mm. Either it's Laida, it's Uru again, it's the uh, deputy president. You see, there we have no point to fight at because anybody can be the president. Mm. And I if you are the president, still you can appoint and you can fire. Oh. I think you, you can remember, um, I think we are coming from a history of almost an imperial presidency. Back the reason, then, the, many the years reason, back. The reason, the reason why, if you can remember, the, the, his right hand, Raila Odinga, he has fought all through his life. Mm -hmm. What was he fighting for? He was fighting this imperialism. He was fighting the imperialism that was there by then. And that is, the, that is why we are worried to go back now. But the, kind of, the, the kind of it, democracy that Kenyans are enjoying now. It is out of that kind of struggle <laughs> of our past leaders. So you're who, saying the Building Bridges Initiative is actually not building anything. You're saying it is taking us back to, that, to, that, to, that to, is, to Egypt. That is my worry. That is my worry. Because well, let me tell you, Aram, if we have to have a government that is rational, we must have an, an independent judiciary. We must have an, indi an independent legislature. We must have an independent executive. In this case, <laughs> they will be operating well and each one is uh, actually giving the other ones the checks and balance. So in this case, when you have the other one overweighing the others, it will be a dictatorship, it will be totalitarian, it will be uh, the whole call, you, you may call it whatever. The, 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 the <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, we don't want to eat on our gains. What is where <laughs> this country has gone, uh. we don't want to eat those gains. We have to go a little bit further to make Kenya a pure democratic state. And by doing so, we must have independent executive, independent uh, judiciary, and independent legislature who are able to cross-check among themselves. And we shall have an independent nation that will enjoy its fruits of democracy. Of which all these translate to integrity, whether it is building or, or promoting integrity in the nation. Well, um,
many leaders raise concerns yeah. about this uh, document and um, they about whether it actually represents the interests of Kenyans. And uh, Baringo North Member of Parliament, William Cheptumo, he labeled the BBI as a two people's political project. And this is what he's, uh, 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 he said, and I quote, that the most logical thing to consider is how to accommodate the views raised by various stakeholders. It now appears that the BBI process was all about the politics of two people. If there is no room to accommodate new views, then why do you tell Kenyans to read it? I think, uh, and, what, what, you, what, what, and, and I'm connecting that with what you say, you're what, talking about what, dictatorship. What, what Chief Tumor is raising, uh -huh. Is the you, you see the the, the, the the first people to uh, raise concern about the past of uh, the very the many election that we have had that has been that has caused a lot of problem was his excellence the president himself, and then the prime minister was on the extreme other end. Unajua, what is there? He was in the opposition. Now the two great men of our nation came together for a handshake and say, let us reason together. How can we move together without all these problems that we have been facing? So they started as two. The people who agreed for a handshake war too. Now they sold the idea to Kenyans. When mm -hmm. they sold the idea to Kenyans, it was now legalized and the process was moved to Kenyans to ascend to it through giving their views. They're giving the they, directions as leaders they are, to Kenyans. Of course they gave the direction. Now, now the, 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 the risk that we are facing, of which the Jektuma is raising, is that if, this, if, the, if the document, if the input that we are now making as Kenyans that will make this document owned by the Kenyans mm. is by giving them, by giving their views to this document, by giving their input to the documents. And that Kenyans will now own it as ours. That we, that's why we normally say, we as Kenyans mm. contribute this. It will be our constitution. So if it will fail to address, if it will fail to, uh, to receive the deliberations from the Kenyans, that it will be the business of the two at the top. That is what Jeptuma is alleging. That if it was there, what but, is but, it? But, but, but there are people who believe that or, or go with the notion that it is a two-man issue and therefore they will not get involved in it. I disagree. But, I disagree with that. Let, let, it is, it is, no, no, let me, let me finish my, let, my let, case. Huh? It, is, it is not a two-man race or I mean issue. Hmm. Why? Kenyans support the idea. The two, the, two, the two leaders actually gave their views that this is the direction we have to take. Remember if we have to heal the Dr. past. Dr. you mentioned earlier that it may bring to dictatorship. That was what you said. No, what, what, what? Meaning it will translate to a one man. We issue. are building a consensus <laughs> on the subject that is national. <laughs> Dr. 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 <laughs> Let me make some corrections there. Yeah. Uh, well, this is the assumption of Rotich, Dr. Rotich, that... Uh, what the Mwishimiwa said, that this is a two-man uh, document. Mm. To me, maybe that, that's according to his assumption. Maybe he feels like that's what he meant. But the truth of the matter is that the Mwishimiwa, he meant that this document is for two. And because uh, if you look at... He, it, he said it appears the BBI process was all about the politics of two people. And if you hear, let, let, let us now look at this. Eh? If you hear a number of people who are talking about uh, the, the document of two people, this thing does not work. And, because from the beginning, I said that this document is one of the best documents that we have ever had. It's only that needs a number of changes, a few changes. Just like uh, what... Uh, uh, Dr. His Excellency William Ruto said the other day that what we need is just to sit and look at what is not good for us and what's good for us. Then, but now people have taken far, more especially from uh, our, my friends from the uh, Lift Valley region. Eh? Mm. Uh, a number of them, you know, uh, His Excellency, the Deputy President, is very wise eh? and what is always talking if you yeah. capture his mind. Mm. But now the followers of him they don't consider his points and look at what he meant because he don't want to look like it's not of the, of the document and it's, it's, it's of the document. So it's there. Because this is the politics of 2022 that people are already praying you, for You're it. saying the followers of the deputy president are the one who are misleading. They are misreading. Mis mis misinterpreting. They are misinterpreting the issues Kenyans. to the actually common monainji, mm. if you go down there. Because the document, we need it. Not that we don't need the document. We need the document. But what we need is to to, to just agree, as they were talking about, and do a number of necessary things there, then the document will be of help to us. Uh, how are you saying that misleading Kenyans? In, in, in what, what way I'm trying are, they, to say, are they misinterpreting the deputy president? You see, if, if you go to the rallies, what the deputy president is talking about, mm. is like, is of the document, and now when they are of the 
together that is for example when the document was launched they were together you reason to the speeches and then now they are of their own that is what is, the, is actually spoken there is also quite different from what when they are like in a function which is which has the deputy president the former prime minister and the president why they are not consistent. You know, for a wise person, you will always look for the consistency. Because if you look at, you may say, are you of the document or you are not of the document? And that's why I say, I am of the document where the document is in the correct. You know, I don't want to look like I am sidelining from one party or from one either opposition or on the document. We need to go to the truth. And, the, the and, and you see, there is some similarity between you and the deputy president. And this, and there's some this, similarity this, to the government. This is the similarity. Yeah. You, you, you're saying the deputy president has um, doesn't appear to be opposing or mm -hmm. or, 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 or supporting it or proposing it. Uh, that's the same same position that the political party is is that when you stood there, you said you don't support and you don't reject. We, yes, we need Where more time. You? And did they agree? Who agrees? You see, what they said about <laughs> is that the deputy president say that. We need some time to do some corrections. And when the, 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 the former prime minister, what he talked about from Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, let's come together and agree. So there is a part they needed to agree, of which they have not done that. Because so when they agree, you will have your stand. We will have our stand. Because now... There is a notion, akisoma to mesoma. No, 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 that we have already read, but yeah. we have our stand because if they agree on a number of things, because we, we are just having an assumption that the number of things which are not correct, they are the ones they want to agree. For instance, we were talking about the representatives. The number is too high. We don't agree as Mabadiko Party. Number two, we need this document to go to the common Mwananji, to be involved. You know, politi politicians, what they are praying is they are trying to defend their... They are, they, are, they are master. Okay. Now, when you, 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 you talk about the master, mm -hmm. and that is the same, same issue that they're talking about, they're saying that this is a politics of two people. You are mentioning that. Do you agree that that is a, a, a politics of two people? That is not a politics of two people. The BBI. The BBI. Le now, let me add this before Dr. Ruzici gets in. Mm -hmm. You see, the nation was uh, in, a, in, in, in actually a massive violence if you look at the previous five years of uh, uh, 2013 of the, the, the leadership of uh, uh, the president of the Republic of Kenya, Urumuya Kenyatta. And then that's what uh, Uru thought, that we, which regards it that I will leave behind. He thought that if I would involve my brother, the former prime minister, and we come together, the common Mwanainchi will settle down. And that's why you see, at least the way he's learning the government, they are, the common Mwanainchi, we have no more uh, as much as COVID is there, uh, economic challenges, ecological challenges, mm. uh, spiritual challenges, but at least we are moving on one way. And to add up, you see, what the Prime Minister needs, or the, 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 the President of the Republic of Kenya, many people will be shocked that they are not looking for the position. Mm. They are trying to fight and to get, because this is the only opportunity that they have gotten, to leave a legacy. Actually, they are looking forward on how they will leave a legacy before they retire. Now, um, so it's not a politics of two people in brief. Uh, you're saying it's not, and you're saying it is. Yeah. You're saying it is? No, what I'm saying, uh, the, the originators of the handshake, or it originated from the two originators people? The of the handshake <laughs> were from the two people. When the handshake took the ground by His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister Raila Odinga, convincing Kenyans that this is the right way to go, mm. it was now established as a public document for people to give their views, now. to build up. Now. now, where the problem is, is when now that the content of the document is in public domain, Kenyans are reacting. They are saying, oh, mine was not captured. Oh, yours was not captured. All this. Now, and the same, and His Excellency also said, let, uh, let us have a consensus. Let us build up. Let us, let us come up together and build this document and have a better document that will have no contention or competition. Now, that one, has not succeeded because as of now they are saying there will be no change what they can only change are some few uh, the way it was captured through some quarters like what the prime minister said about the the pastoralist 
Now the issue of having more input is no longer there. You've, so you've what, what are we expecting from the same? The dissenting voices from those people who are saying we were supposed to have built up the consensus on this. What will happen? You've mentioned pastoralists, and uh, let me mention nominated member of parliament, Honorable David Olesankok, said, mm -hmm. the, and I quote, even if I'm left alone ranger, I will lead the rest of the country in the anti-BBI campaign. This is a doctor document. It doesn't capture any issue we submitted on behalf of the disabled or pastoralist community. That is what I'm telling you, Ram. The biggest, the, 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 the contentious issue here is not only about the content of the current BPI or the proposal that are in it, but having failed to capture the issues the that issues were, that were by deliberated Kenyans. by the majority of Kenyans. Yet you support it. My, my big prayer, Ram, today, <laughs> if there will be a, a better input, uh, if all these people will not be left aside and we come up with a consensus, Without going for, we, we are going to referendum only to say yes. I would have preferred that these people would have spent, if not waste, a little time to accommodate the views of those people who are left behind. Now, this uh, Ole Sango is representing people with disability, but is now talking the minds of the majority of Kenyans who are saying yes, our views were not accepted. And let me tell you, Ram, one other big question is there is that we can ask: Who owns the BBI? Is it, still, is it still a public document? And that's, what, and that's what I'm asking here. Is it a public document or <laughs> the, 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 the owners? <laughs> the, PPI, the PPI is a public document. And when we were talking of, uh, like, uh, the machine was talking about the, the, the two people, uh. Uh, it's only that he's not giving out the facts and uh, how he meant. Because, again, if you look at the previous election, uh, the Mweshmiwa Raida had like 6 million people and those 6 million people. That means what they are doing, they are representing the common money. They are representing the public. Because okay. these people, we cannot underrate them. <laughs> now, they uh, have numbers. I, I want us to address... I think just we, 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 we are talking about the Constitution. Yeah. We are talking about our Constitution. My Constitution as a citizen of this country. So whatever I contribute, this constitution will govern me in my government. So that is why it is very, very important that all the issues raised by respective stakeholders must be accommodated if we, have now, a, now if we should have a consensus. If, if you're talking about consensus, should we have a contested referendum of yes and no? That, that is definitely what is going to happen. It That's is. What's going it, to it is no longer. It is no longer about whether it will. It is going <laughs> to happen. It is. It is. Now let's talk about one, one one issue: leadership and integrity. Corruption. The BBI proposes that uh, Article 80 A will put to an end of uh, corruption, calling on Parliament to pass laws and legislation that will ensure speedy investigation, prosecution, and a trial of cases in court. Um, now, uh, and uh, this is in regards to now how corruption cases have been handled in the past. This proposal on Article 80, will it stick, Dr. Sor? Yeah, the proposal of Article 80, eh? mm. Actually, that's one of the, the articles that which makes us believe that this PPI is one of the best uh, documents that we have ever had. Mm -hmm. The reason why, when they talk about prosecution and all, it, the amount of the resources, that they are creating an avenue on how, the, you know, like even in Parliament to sit and to talk about the issue of uh, corruption, maybe a number of people, maybe they have involved. They need seating allowance, they need everything. That means there must be the resources that will allow them to do that. Prosecution, there will be resources. Because right now, if you listen to the president of uh, SKL, uh, the, the, the Maraga, mm. a number of times he's talking about Iraq's uh, resources, no support. You see, if there is no written document that will give you a support, as much as you will be working and working, you will be uh, having integrity, you will be in leadership, but there's no resources, your government is not actually even uh, supporting you so much. As much as they are speaking, there's no action. You won't do anything. And that is why that Article 8 is going to help us to fight corruption because they have created avenues, not only of resources, but of st st states 
the strategies of using on how to fight corruption. Uh, you, you stand the on how leadership I and totally, uh, I have a lot of reservation, uh, yeah. Ram, when uh, much of what's happening in this country, you talk about corruption. Mm. Uh, why uh, the, uh, the culprits have not been able to be brought to book? Why people are still working free when they have actually squandered the, the, the government, no, not the public resources? It has not been because of lack of resources. I mean, lack of the constitution. Much of what, even it would have been done, it, should be, it would have been done through legislation. It doesn't require a constitution to change to bring about the culprit. It's just an act. And that will do this, I mean, a marvelous job. So, so, it is, so it is, you're saying it is the BBI the has no effect it is, plus negative nothing. It is zero. just, it, was, it has been put to sweeten the aspiration of Kenyans, what the I, Kenyan wants, is to I see that corruption is removed from this I country. <laughs> I'm not, let me tell you, why I'm saying this uh, Ram, is this was, uh, why corruption has been, pro I mean, uh, rampant in this country? It is mm -hmm. not because we lack the laws. We that, have the laws. Government. We the have constitution the constitution is there. The willpower, the will has not been there. And that is what we are lacking. It is not the constitution, it is the will so to the prosecute the culprits. The BBI is not pro promoting integrity in this area of corruption. The PPI is only adding a flesh on top of a flesh. I, I have no problem with what the PPI is in proposing. Order to kunona. I, yes, I have no problem with that, what the PPI is proposing. But what I'm, in a nutshell, what I'm telling you, uh -huh. the, 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 those who have corrupted this nation, it is not because we have been lacking the laws or the constitution to, I mean, to nip the, the culprits. It has been because of lack of the will. Now, we were talking about the other day, uh, the issue of the cancer, the issue of what, how many people have been booked? How many people are in? Does that mean that even the process and the, cul the, the, the culprits are not known? How many people have looted the, this, the, 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 the public funds in this country? And they are all free outside there. Is it because of, lack of the lack of laws or the constitution in the land? No. It is lack of the willpower to prosecute. If the PPI is coming up with more flesh, I have no problem at all. Let it bring. It is a good thing to do. But... <laughs> Why? The but, there, <laughs> but there is no effects. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. You say the document has no, is, is just adding um, a flesh on top of a flesh. We already have the, the laws. is already cooked. We already have the laws that governs these areas. But if we want to build more on the laws that were that maybe that was omitted. But what I'm seeing personally, it is lack of the will Dr. to prosecute. Doctor Soro, you, you agree on that? <laughs> I don't agree on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> because uh, even in the family, if there's no laws, if there's, you know, there's laws which are known. You are the father, she's the mother, these are the children, the father should be the head. That has the normal laws. But there's laws that you go extra miles and you put this and this should be done like this, and the time limit, limit and all those things. This is what the Article 8 of the Constitution that uh, which has done, that they have put some limit of cases because the number of cases have been going for so many years and uh, without being sorted out. They have put actual time limit if you keep on reading on that uh, article and they have, uh, they have provided for resources, they have provided for the avenues. So what we are looking here, if the effectiveness are going to be actually concentrated on that, uh, on that article, then we are going to see change. Now, uh, um, Ram, let me just point one thing that Maraga once said. Huh? Uh. What Maraka was uh, really uh, complaining of was lack of resources. So little funds was put into the judiciary. Mm. He has never, he has never, I mean, and then again, there was a time when His Excellency actually said that, why is it that much of the backlog of these uh, uh, corrupt cases are actually filing up in the courts and they are taking a lot of time to execute? What Maraka says, what we need, we need a better qualified, a better skill investigators who will come up with real touching case i mean uh, evidence to prosecute those those, those culprits he never said that he is lacking the constitution he never said he's lacking to the laws that are actually managing about the laws so and then so what 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 i overheard actually he was lacking of is the resources, the resources the finances. to execute yeah. Yeah. his work perfectly now, because those uh, experts <laughs> those who are with high integrity mm. they also need to be paid well and they cannot get to where they are not paid because uh, this is a, 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 we are in the country whereby 
the high experience you have, the higher you are expecting to be paid. And I think when the resources came, actually we are just underlining the term resources because it has come to cover. You can hire more prosecutors, you can hire more experts, you can, mm. you see, you will be able to do in speed. <laughs> That, that is what actually the, co the constitution has done. <laughs> no, 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 no. Be, be, before you, before you, you direct, because I'm, I'm told time is not on our no side. No problem. Um, <laughs> let's talk about this issue here. Moving forward, as we wrap it up, 2022. I'm aware you're, vi you're vying for member, mem member of parliament seat. Eh? Kitu Tujache. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you are vying, but uh, in <laughs> this BBI, do you feel as though it makes you proud to be a leader in this nation considering that you may want or you will vie in 2022 as we bring this discussion to a close your take on that my take on that if uh, the the a number of things uh, that which have been uh, uh, actually put on that document they are going to, to to be used effectively and they're going to work Mm. And they are going to agree on few things because when we talk about the agreement with the deputy uh, president, with his team, and with the handshake with the Uru and the Raida, what we meant is that if the two agree, they are able to deliver the message to the common one. Engine. But does it give you, does it give you hope for a future? To they be have a an hope for a future to be a leader. Uh, Dr. Dr. I, I think what what I what I'm longing uh, to see uh, Ram is a better United Kenya come 2022 after the election of 2022. That is mm. what I'm eyeing. Right. And uh, my take is, the, the managers of the BPI as they are now, if they, want us, if they want to see us sailing beyond 2022 as a peaceful and united nation, mm -hmm. they must be able, I'm using the word must, must. be able no condition to accommodate mm. all the views of the Kenyans so that they will come up with a a balanced document, a document that Kenyans will call my document. That my is God. my take. Thank you very much. That is Dr. Rotich <laughs> Kibi yeah. Joseph. Amen. Karibu Zara Dakari. Thank you so much. Umeni Freja Leo. And uh, Dr. Robert Osoro. Thank you very much, you so gentlemen, for finding Thank time to so join much. me tonight. Amen. Thank you. The hashtag as always is the stand ke at ramaguko at y254 channel that brings us to the uh, end of this conversation tonight it has been a pleasure remember this discussion on bbi is long it's intensive we cannot cover everything last week we talked about the youth today we are talking about leadership and integrity next week what should we talk about well keep the conversation going and we shall see you again next week on tuesday at 8 p.m same place right here on y254 god bless you have a good night my name is from aguko <laughs>